Hey guys, so this is going to be my third video of the day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Um, I've had a few say quality over quantity, but I'm going to keep up with this schedule uh, for now. I might upload one or two a day on certain days, but for the most part, probably two to three videos a day. Um, but yeah, one, one thing before we start this guide, this video is about how to play duelist on defense because someone suggested that and that sounded like a very, very good uh, guide video. So... I'm gonna be doing that, but before we get started, um, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that I have a Discord server, and someone just boosted my server, and I'm really grateful for that, but I really wanna to get to seven boosts, so if you guys would like to um, promote my server and help me, um, you guys can join my Discord link uh, in the link below, and I will give you guys free coaching if you boost my server. It's not really free, but um, just to show my gratitude, I will, I will coach whoever boosts my server. So if you do, make sure you ping me, message me on Discord. Um, I'll be at the top of my Discord um, on the list of people. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So this is something that is not very intuitive uh, for duelist players is to learn how to def defend um, effectively. So this is kind of like whenever Sentinels attack, it's kind of like confusing for them. It feels a little weirder. On attack, you're kind of in the advantage um, at, at, the, at an advantage because you're playing duelist. On defense, it's a little bit different. So basically, what we're gonna wanna be thinking about here are a few main things. Um, on attack, it's okay to go for aggressive peaks, but on defense, we wanna try to go for. If we're going for aggressive plays, we wanna do it uh, like in a really smart way. We don't just wanna push mindlessly around. Like if you're just running into mid or just running all the way through spawn, we don't really wanna do that. The most aggressive play that I would go for here is shift walking over to the left. Either that or just holding like this. Um, but even this is kind of risky. Um, the reason we can do this on like a character like Jet, this video is mainly going to be about Jet, by the way, um, just because that's what I'm on, and the person that asked asked for uh, Jet. So if you guys want me to do on a different video, a uh, different character, then I can do that. But basically, the reason we can do this here is Jazz because we have a dash, right? So there's it's kind of like a low risk, high reward, or a medium risk, high reward, because you can also get one tapped from attackers here, but um, it's not a bad play to go for. So the, the confusing part about defense is that especially, but um, what you're going to want to be thinking about is, okay, so where can they come from? They can come from here, here, or here, right? So if they're not if they're not running here, if they don't make any noise here at the start of the round, if you don't see them within like 10 seconds, um, I'm going to instantly start at least rotating over to Cat on this map. Um, I'm still expecting them to potentially be A. Um, also, if I see someone on the minimap over here on the enemy team, or if my team is calling B, I'm gonna just rotate through spawn instantly. This is okay to do on on duelist because you have uh, you should have sentinels, right? You should have sentinels or a sentinel at least, or you should have someone playing sight as well, especially. So you shouldn't always be the main sight player for each um, sight. So another thing that we can think about is uh, whenever we're spawning here, we don't want to be autopiloting to the same spot. This is something I see low rank players do all the time. Like, they'll just brainlessly go Here. go hold A, and it's like, why am I defending poorly? Well, you can play... Let's just think about this. Where, how many places can we play from? You guys might think, uh, three, because there's A, mid, and B. Well, actually, we have B, as in we can play right here, here. like aggressive B main. We can peak mid, we yeah. can peak this angle, and we can peak this angle yeah. right here. That's technically two. Then we can play cat, which is three, and then we have A main. That's four. So, if you said three, you're kind of close. But the, the point is we can play a lot of places. So I'll go ahead and go over here again, um, just to emphasize my point. We can play right here. Again, we don't have to play aggressive. We can play more uh, passive. If you're playing Jet, this is a really good spot up here. I might as well just show you guys all the spots. Also, I'm gonna try to make this video a little bit longer just because I wanna go past 10 minutes. My viewers told me that's a good idea. Um, so this is a good spot, just careful of Cat. Um, another thing I like to do is play close right here or close over here and another cool spot you guys probably know about is right here uh, whenever they're running out this is a really nice spot because you can kind of catch them when they're not expecting because people run out yeah they're gonna hit the switch um, but you can kill people that are running to site and then you can also kill you can also smoke here and kill a switch um if, if you know they're hard pushing a main like say you're just playing aggressive here and you just killed one and then you dash away but you actually don't mess the dash up um, then you can come back here, and the cool thing about this is you have smokes, right? So smokes aren't just used for, uh, as jet, smokes aren't just used for uh, taking space. You can actually use them to, like a normal smoke, like you can just smoke this. If they're pushing, just smoke this. And then if they run out the smoke, then 
they're just bad and you get a free kill, right? So you have two smokes. Don't be scared to use them. I see a lot of lower rank players not use any of their utility. Um, you also have updraft, so if you're dash if say you get a kill here, right? And then I I get a kill and then I dash away. You, you don't you can smoke and then dash up or updraft updraft up. You don't have to um, sit down here. You can also updraft up here to catch people off guard and then smoke again, drop down. Like there's a lot of ways you can play around with Jet. So it's just a matter of getting a feel with uh, playing her on defense, right? Because if you're playing a Sentinel, it feels very natural to play on defense because your your abilities are made for defending. But as Jet, it's not so much the case. But that's okay, right? We can still um, we can still take advantage of her abilities and make them defense, uh, make them defensive, if that makes sense. And um, so basically, we're gonna apply these same ideas to the whole map here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to Cat. Um, so Cat, this is where I like to play on Cat if I'm just playing a little more passive. Oh, also one more angle to show you guys. This is a really cool angle, especially if you're playing Jet and you like to op or if you're using a, a Vandal. This is a really dirty spot. Um, it's it's a little passive, but it's very good if you're like rotating and they're about to come out. It gives you a free kill. So this spot right here, if you're coming up from Cat, this is what it looks like. A lot of people will not clear this even in high ranks. So like they'll be kind of like this. Um, I always clear like this though. I always clear that angle and then Totally work my way up. Another spot you can play on defense here is up here, and this is just really good because, um, so again, whenever someone's clearing on attack, they might clear like this, and they might look like this, but usually people won't clear like this. I will clear like this because I know people like to sit up here, so I'll go like this, like this, like this, and then clear the corner, a little dog right there. You can also play this corner if you're going to do it, just make sure you're playing an off angle. Also, if you guys want a video about off angles, let me know. I'll try to teach you and explain why and when you want to use them, but um, this is my favorite spot here and then playing right here as well are very good for defense. Also you can peek this. Um, this is very common to be peeked though, so just be aware that if you die you're going to put your team in a disadvantage. This goes back to what I was saying earlier, where you, if you're going to play aggressive you want to do it in a smart way, you don't always just want to like, if you peek here and then you die then you get mad and you just try to do it again and do it again do it again and then you're only winning like one of every four fights and you're just putting your team at a big disadvantage right so if you're going to play cat like play you know play a little more passive remember to use our utility as well so now i'm gonna go ahead and swap the vandal because it feels wrong to not have a vandal whenever i'm in mid so there's a couple ways i like to play mid if you're playing mid you're basically saying that i want to play aggressive this round um so except for, for this play and anyway so i sometimes hold like this if I hear someone, I'll kind of like hide like this for a second, and then, and then I'll hear them running, and then I'll kind of peek right here, make sure there's no one else, and then I'll just kill them as they run out. Um, so this, you want to play this side if um, you're holding tiles, and if you want to peek top cat, you want to start right here, because the barrier is like right here somewhere, and then you can hold like this, and you can also just walk all the way down like this, and this puts you in quite a good spot as well, to like hold the mid push, and uh, look right here. People also like to look jump up here sometimes so get ready for that other than that again playing passive on defense is completely okay it's often very good especially if you're having a tough game which everyone has a tough game um so if you guys didn't know about this spot this is a little more passive so this is this is a it doesn't look like a ramp but this is a ramp if you guys don't know what i'm talking about watch this see that very smooth ramp in fact it doesn't even feel like there's bumps here even though it is like a really bumpy thing so um this is a really nice spot I like to sit. This is good for stopping a mid push. Uh, if they're running up, then you just kill like a bunch of them for free. You can sit pizza. I always tell people to try to stay away from pizza pretty much always. Cause basically if you look at sitting here versus here, what is the disadvantage of sitting here? You're basically trapped here. Yes, you have a smoke and a dash, but why why position yourself there when you, and, and force yourself to use dash when you could just sit over on this side? Uh, Cause you see, I can just rotate out through B. Uh, in most scenarios, but if I sit over here, then I'm just putting myself in a disadvantage, but pizza can be a good spot every, like, every so often, you know, so, again, so playing here, um, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth on this site, so peeking B main, um, this is kind of like A main, you just kind of cross to the left, and then I kind of like to hold right here, and then if I see someone, I can get a kill, because a lot of people expect you to be over here in this area, so you just want to go for a kill. I try to make no noise across to the left. I don't, you don't want to sit in this spot because people hard clear this pretty much in every rank always. So if you're going to sit over here, sit back this way, if this makes sense. 
they can still try to dash out, but I just kind of like to walk over kind of just like parallel with this. You see like on this line right here and then or maybe just a little bit out and then just wait for them. Get a kill, dash out. You see at the, the full length of my dash, I'm all the way out behind this wall. And then you can smoke. Remember to smoke. Smoke stops, slows enemies down. Um, if you're playing Reyna, throw a flash. If you're, because uh, like say, if you're playing Reyna, you get the kill here. And instead of dashing, you dismiss out. And then you can, oops, <laughs> I just tried to throw a flash. And then you can throw a flash up high, like up here, up here somewhere. And then it slows them down. This is the point of playing duelist on defense. Or not the point, but this is like how you play duelist on defense, right? Um, also, a cool thing to do here is try to updraft for a kill with a knife, but that's a little like extra. So this is again, this is an aggressive play, right? This is something we don't always want to do. Um, I would suggest trying aggressive plays each game, see if they work, and if you're getting away with it, then keep trying different variations of it. But if we want to, um, if we want to play a little more passive, this spot here and this spot over here, this is called logs. This is like switch. So this is I would suggest here first. Also. Those are kind of cheese spots, so maybe don't um, offer those always, but this is a really good spot sitting market here. So the cool thing about market is you, you can defend mid and you can defend B. Because you see they can't get to B site without me knowing unless they like are sneaky and they walk all the way under here. But unless you're in like Radiant, that's probably not going to happen. Or just like a good player in Immortal. Um, so here, you don't really need to peek this, right? We're over peeking. This is over peeking right here. This is... Whenever people come up here, they're gonna expect you to be holding this. So you try to minimize the angle. You see how you use this wall to block this whole door. So we're just waiting for them to walk out right here. Cause whenever they're coming out right here, they probably are gonna be looking at us. They're probably gonna be looking towards site because that's the place in front of them. Cause at this point, if they're out here, they already looked at market and there's no one there. If you get like, if you get like smoked off, you can even, especially if you're playing Rene, you can already go and walk out like this through the smoke. Because they won't expect that a lot of the time, especially if you haven't done it yet. Don't be afraid. Um, this is going to lead me to my next point. So, one more thing before we move on. There's some pretty nice spots here on site. Uh, I'm not going to explain that, um, but you can find them on your own. Just know that um, they're useful. So, I'm going to talk about learn when to play retake and when to, like, die. Die trying to get picks. So, like, so... Playing retake is when you purposely like smoke and then you leave to regroup with your team, right? And this gives you a numbers advantage. If you don't die, then in your group with your team, you're gonna have an advantage retaking the side. Like say you get a kill here, here, and then you dash out and you get all the way out here, and now it's a 5v4, right? If they're all on site, it's a 5v4. That gives you a pretty good advantage. You're, you have a pretty good chance to win the round, unless something goes horribly wrong. Um, whereas if you were to get the kill and be main, and yeah. then um, you die, then it's just a 4v4. And who knows if your team is going to win, right? So so how do we know when to play retake versus when to not play retake? Well, it kind of depends on a lot of things. But if you think you can get like two or three before you die, then it's completely worth. If you could even just get two and have a chance for the third. And if you only get two, it's completely fine. Because you're getting two for your one life, right? That's really good. Unless you're in a game where you know you need to get out and like try to take every single fight to kill everyone. Then, you know, maybe don't go for that. But... In most scenarios, getting two kills here would be completely fine. So, like, sacrificing yourself to get two. And then, if you die, that's fine. But, otherwise, we probably want to be playing retake. If we get one, if not retake, you can just play really passive on site. And, if you're, because if your team's close to you, you can, you can play kind of, like, uh, passive on site after you get a kill. After you play aggressive. Um, so, hopefully that makes sense. Um, what that might look like in mid is, like, say, I, I'm peeking here. I get the kill, and then I smoke. You don't really need to dash. Um, then you can just, you know, place crosser there and come back. And now, now you have the kill advantage. Now you're ready to retake wherever they go. Uh, this is a little bit different in mid because you're not retaking mid because there's no sight on mid. Um, but we're retaking A and B. So, lastly, I'm gonna talk about rotating quickly. And remember, if you guys have any questions about any of these topics, let me know because I get that there's not really feedback from you guys as I'm playing, so, or as I'm explaining this stuff, that's what the point of comments is for, for YouTube videos, um, but, as far as re- uh, sorry, as rotating, um, whenever I'm, so say, say in the case of here, right, this is another scenario, say I'm peeking right here, 
I'm walking over, I don't hear anyone, and I'm sitting here for like five or ten seconds, and I don't hear anyone. And say, baby, I hear here. we see two people on B. I'm instantly either gonna push here. through here, like with running with my gun out, and just clear things like this, because I'm in my mind they're probably all B and maybe like one mid, maybe one lurking, maybe not. And either I'm gonna do that and flank, or I'm gonna run fast all the way through spawn. I'm not gonna hesitate very much. Even if, I don't even need to see two people here. here. If I know the enemy team doesn't like um, lurk very much, if I know they don't lurk and I know they make a lot of noise at wherever they're gonna go, and then they're making no noise toward me, then I'm gonna instantly leave because I know that I'm probably just wasting my time here. So this is another problem players have is they'll just sit here and wait and they'll just keep waiting and waiting and no one will come. And then by the time the enemy is already here, they'll have wasted like 15 seconds when they could have already like rotated and been all the way over to here, right? This is a big thing as a duelist especially. You need to predict where the enemy is going at the start of the round. So from the spawn, I have, here. like we said, we have choices. We can go A main, cat, mid, or B. Um, and if you predict completely wrong, that's okay, but you need to rotate fast. That's my point here. So if you go A main because whatever reason, and then they're not A, then they're coming B, you need to get ready to rotate as soon as possible. And vice versa, if they're going B and... Uh, or if they're going A and you, you chose B, then yeah. So especially as duelists, you need to predict where they're gonna go on defense. That's that's another important thing that I didn't really emphasize yet, but I'm trying to emphasize it now. So yeah, it looks like we've made a longer video here. Let me go know if you guys like this type of video. It's longer, kind of like combination of my coaching and guide videos, a um, little over 15 minutes. But yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. Um, Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Stay sexy.